Hey, we're going to talk about the new rewards slash plans that you can earn through the Mole Miner Pales. In the previous videos, we went over a few of the newest ones, but they have actually added three new ones to the list. The Aquarium, the Cave Cricket, and as well as the Fire Alarm Bell. We will finish the video off with two glitches, one being the new Solo Accuracy glitch, and lastly, we'll show off the Shotgun Durability glitch that's going on right now. Now, I only know about this because of the good old Fallout 76 Data Mining Discord group, which I'll leave a link there. One of them had talked about this in one of the channels, so I'll just give credit to that fella. Let's start off with the new Pale Rewards. This right here is going to be a TV aquarium that you're able to have a chance of dropping within those pails. And for sure, you'll have a better chance of this dropping if you use ornate pails instead of those basic ones, but you can still have a chance of it dropping. This, of course, is a fire alarm, and when you trigger it, what do you know? The annoying sound effect is activated. This might be good for you few out there that love the sound effects for your camps. This camp item may not be for everyone, but I'm sure there are a few of you out there that could use this in possibly a fire station built or maybe a camp built for a library of some sort. Just throwing some ideas out there. Next up, we have the Cricket Cave Tube. This test tube is just like the other ones, except of course you're gonna have a different enemy slash creature inside. When I did the last new Pell rewards about a two, three days ago, most of you asked, when will these rewards be available? And if I had any guess, I would say in September the 22nd, because that is when our next Treasure Hunter event is going on. Now let's talk about the Shotgun Durability Glitch. There is a glitch slash bug going on right now, so if you go to your crafting station and then you craft down a shotgun, doesn't matter which one it is, just choose one and craft it down. When you do this, you'll notice, okay, of course you have your durability there, but if you start to use this, which I'll show you here shortly, so let's just show off that, hey, I've not used the shotgun at all, the durability is still the same, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward through this whole entire thing, so this way you can see that I did indeed use the shotgun. What's going on currently is that the shotgun is bugged to a point or glitched to a point where if you try to use it, none of the durability is going to go down. You'll be able to use this as long as you want without the gun actually breaking. Cool part about this glitch slash bug is all you have to do is just go to that station, craft it down, and you could possibly even put this on a legendary. If I had any guess, I would say that this might be patched on the next update, which is coming to us this Tuesday. This for sure will not work with any other gun within your inventory or in your stash box. So make sure that you craft this well within your workbench, and then you'll be good to go. And to finish the video off, we'll talk about the new solo accuracy glitch. This was discovered by Food Builds, and I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel down below. Food Builds had actually figured a way to do this with two people, but I sent him a message asking him, hey, can you possibly do this solo by switching camps? And you absolutely can, and we'll get right into that. You're going to need the Ace Armor Shooting Gallery. This was a reward that you could earn from the Season 2 scoreboard. If you're new to the game, this might be a little crappy for you because, well, you're not going to be able to do this glitch without that. But I wouldn't doubt it that this is going to be available to a lot of the vendors soon, like, for example, Samuel. Now, with that information, out of the way let's go into how to do this glitch exactly shout out to food builds for sending this over so that you all could learn this what you want to do is place down that armor ace gallery you want to interact with it pause the game and from there we're going to go to our camp slots and we want to change it on over when you do this you're going to notice when you back out that your accuracy is going to be dead point on this is going to be probably amazing for the goss shotgun if i had to guess because of just the way it pinpoints it all in one area. Uh, this is pretty much it though, just a quick one to throw in there. Hopefully you found everything helpful in the end. If you did, please let me know down below and we can chat it up about the glitches and the, the objects that we are able to earn from the Mole Miner event. But yeah, appreciate everything. See you guys on the next one and take care.